The iPhone SE 4 is shaping up to be one of the most eagerly awaited devices of 2024, with fans excitedly looking forward to its release. At Apple's highly anticipated Glow Time event, many expected an announcement regarding the iPhone SE 4. While the company introduced several exciting new products, some highly awaited ones like the iPhone SE 4 were missing. For those curious, here's a quick overview of products Apple didn't reveal at this event. Starting with the iPhone SE 4. There had been some speculation that Apple might introduce the iPhone SE 4 alongside the iPhone 16 series, but that wasn't the case. Now, it's expected that the phone may be launched sometime next year, the most rumored time being the spring of 2025. Reports suggest that its design will resemble the iPhone 14 series from the front and iPhone 16 from the back. The device is also rumored to feature the A18 chip and 8 gigs of RAM, meeting the requirements for Apple's intelligence system. Beyond the design changes, this budget-friendly model is expected to include significant hardware improvements, such as a new chip, an OLED display with a notch, and a USB-C port. A report from the information suggests that the iPhone SE 4 may see a price increase of around 10%, but it's still expected to be priced under $500. Now, let's talk about another highly anticipated product, the iPad Mini 7. Speculation about the iPad Mini 7 grew as Apple stores began to run low on iPad Mini 6 stock. Released in 2021, the iPad Mini 6 runs on the A15 Bionic chip, which is now a bit outdated. Rumors suggest the iPad Mini 7 could support Apple intelligence and come with the M2 chip, bringing it in line with newer iPad Air models. By the way, are you excited about the iPad Mini launch? Share your thoughts in the comments below. In addition, following the It's Glow Time event that introduced the iPhone 16 series, Apple is rumored to hold another event later this year, likely in October, focusing on iPads and Macs. According to Bloomberg's Mark Gurman, Apple is expected to unveil M4-powered MacBook Pros, iMacs, and a redesigned Mac Mini at this upcoming event. As for iPads, the 7th generation iPad Mini and the 11th generation iPad are anticipated. Furthermore, a few months ago there were reports that Apple was developing a more affordable version of its AirPods. Known as AirPods Lite, these wireless earbuds were expected to be released sometime later this year but it now seems that Apple may not be moving forward with this product. While details on AirPods Lite remain scarce, Apple analyst Ming-Chi Kuo previously suggested that these earbuds could be priced as low as $99, which is around 8,000 rupees. Last month, an Apple analyst Ming-Chi Kuo predicted that two iPhone models set for release in 2025, the iPhone SE 4 and iPhone 17 Slim, will likely include Apple's new 5G modem chip. According to Ming-Chi Kuo, Apple's in-house 5G chip will gradually replace Qualcomm modems. His research indicates that Apple could ship between 35 to 40 million devices with its own 5G modem next year, with this number expected to grow to 90 to 110 million units by 2026. If Apple makes this transition next year, the iPhone SE 4 may be the first model to feature the new modem, as its launch is anticipated for March 2025. Currently, Apple relies on Qualcomm modems for cellular connectivity across all iPhone models. The company has been working on developing its own 5G chip for quite some time. And, in 2019, it acquired much of Intel's smartphone modem business to advance this goal. So, what do you think about the iPhone SE 4 and iPad Mini 7? Which would you buy? Let us know in the comments below. With that being said, I will see you guys in the next video.